What up, bosses? Your brother, M to the B to the R. I know it's been a while. Maybe you catch my NASA's video giving you a sort of a little rundown of where I've been and um, what's going on for the future. Uh, if not, quick, quick rundown. I've made a new channel called Zion Gaming Network uh, for multiple reasons. But nonetheless, I've made a new channel. If you guys uh, still fancy watching some of my content, I'm mostly going to be doing some Magic Arena. I have actually made a Nasus video that's over there now if you want to see some more Nasus Destruction. It was a pretty good game. And maybe there will be some League in the future. But I'm heavily going to be focusing on, on Magic. Loving Magic the Gathering is what sort of sparked my passion for gaming and to be making YouTube videos again and interacting with you bosses and new bosses that actually come join along. So, um, loving the, the actual card game in RL, real life, y'all. But thankfully, um, you know, quite fortunately, the problem is, you know, you need people around you, and you know, there's uh, where I am, and there's a limited community that actually play Magic. With this game, um, you can actually play online. It's very similar to Hearthstone. If you like Hearthstone, then you're gonna love this. Code beta at the moment, but it's definitely worth checking out. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how the game actually runs. And, you know, if you guys are interested in seeing some more, then you can catch me over on my new channel. Uh, the link will be below and at the end of the video. But I'm absolutely loving this game. It's spot on. There was, there's a couple of pre other Magic games out, but this one just tops it all the way. It's just so much simpler. looks so much nicer. It is missing, like, two sets of cards, which is a bit of a downer. But, um, you know, hopefully with things to come, with it being close beta, then you know, there's a lot of progress. So here I'm running a blue, uh, so there's like five different types of cards and you can make, you can have one single color or you can make multiple colors. Generally you don't want more than two to three sort of pushing it. Uh, so here's my opening hand. So we've got two, these are my manners. You can play one a turn and by having mana it allows you to play different cards. But we've not got too much of a bad constrict card. This, this card, this deck may be a little bit boring. It's not really a monster deck. It's about just uh, play wrong in the game and then summon out your big boy and you know it's just gg denying everything countless spells denying everything they do so in magic you can actually mulligan which means you get rid of this hand you draw six cards instead of seven and you get to keep that or you can do it again and again until eventually you have no cards i guess which wouldn't be really ideal but when you do do that you can actually scry which means you get to check the top card of your deck and um, if you don't like it you can put it on the bottom and if you do like it then you'll draw it next turn so we play land, you can only play one land per turn. This land, uh, some lands have different effects. This one, cycling means I can actually play it in my hand, or if I have two mana of any color, I can chuck it away and get a new card, or if I play it, it comes in tapped. So when you use mana, the mana actually taps, meaning that you can't use it that turn. So this one means I can't use it straight away. So now it's usable, but the idea of this deck, the blue-black, is that you really want to use it in your opponent's turn. Uh, so now I can either use an island or a swamp. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, uh, what I go for most. Sometimes you want to try and hide what you're going for, but my opponent with me playing that most likely knows that I'm going blue-black. Uh, he's playing black himself, so we'll see how this uh, uh, actually pans out. So you have multiple stages. Every stage you can actually interact. You can do certain things uh, re regarding cards. So at the end of my step, what I want to do is use this card called Opt. So I scry, which basically means I can look at this top card. If I want this card right now, I can draw it. But I've already got one in my hand. So, you know, I'd prefer to get some maybe some more land, really. I don't really need that card. I draw two cards. It's quite a nice card draw. But basically, I put that on the bottom of my deck. And I, I think this is quite a nice card for me to have, even though I'm not going to use it at the moment. So we'll go over to my turn. And we've got Supreme Will, another good card. It's great for countering, but as you can see here, we may be a little bit limited on my mana. Um, you know, we've got some nice cards in my hand, but the one thing you don't really bums you out is when you say miss a mana step, um, and it can really actually screw you over. So at the moment, we're going to just have to hope. He seems to be playing a control. Uh, he could be playing blue as well. He hasn't actually revealed his second color. Could all be black, but thankfully we've got another land. So we can, like say, play this card, but again, we want to do it in their turn, because we can then interact. You can do... Uh, if you have any instant spells, these are all instants. Every single card bar my creature is an instant. So like I say, this isn't really about monsters at all. Uh, so he's going to be going red. So now we know that he's um, black red, which doesn't really mean anything to you bosses at the moment. But once you actually start playing the game, you can understand maybe where he's actually going with that. So he's had to use a lot of cards to actually do that. Um, but that's fine. So uh, I'm not really too fussed about that. What we are going to do is um, when it comes to when we get past this stage... We're going to go boom, we're going to draw two cards, and let's hope we get a land, at least oh, two lands, not bad, you know, it's pretty good to actually, to be honest. Um, so really, with this card, again, because this comes untapped, we want to use it straight away, really, unless we unless we have some master plan and we want to pull off some combo. We want to get this down as soon as possible because it could, um, obviously, it's going to delay us a turn. So we'll pass it over to him. And this game's actually running quite quickly. Some games do go on a little bit longer, depending on the, oh, so he actually chucked his card. So I guess... 
So he cycled that, so he could be going for some comp. There's certain decks where you actually want to play for your graveyard, you want to get cards in your graveyard. So we'll see how that actually pans out. Um, what we could do, we could actually use my Supreme Will at the end of his turn, uh, as soon as we have two of them. So uh, this card actually has multiple moves. So one, I can uh, play it, and he has to pay three mana to counter it, and if he doesn't, then it destroys whatever he's doing. Or I can look at the top four cards of my deck, and we choose one. That's what we're going to go for here. Hopefully we're going to find something good. And also it gives me a chance of um, getting closer to... Ah, so there's, there's only three. So we've got some nice cards here. Doomfall's a really good card because we get to know what he's doing. Uh, my Hyenas, you know, it'd be nice to actually have that. That's okay, and we don't need the mana. So those three other cards are going to go to the bottom. But Doomfall's a really good card, and it's going to be actually really useful for doing something here. So this is a sorcery card, so we have to play it in his turn. Uh, my turn, even. So target opponent, we can do two things. He can destroy a creature if he has any down, but he gets to pick, but there's only one, obviously, he destroys that. Or he reveals his hand. Unless he has a counter spell right now, but he seems to be running blue-red, uh, we should be fine. So right now, we can actually, thankfully, we can get rid of anything in his hand. So he's got a lot of scary things. This destroy target land isn't really much of an issue for me, for what you'll see a little bit later on. Um, we're trying to battle to your target opponent sacrifices a creature. Uh, I'm not too fussed about that. His Scorpion God, I haven't actually seen this in game yet, uh, it's a bit naughty. This could be, what we can do is we actually have a card in my hand where it copies a monster, so we could actually copy his monster if we want. So there's quite a few choices. Um, so I'm actually going to get rid of the Scorpion God, because it just I haven't actually come against that, but my deck is running something similar to the Scorpion God. Uh, it's called the um, Scarab King, but mine's a lot better version of that. Um, so we'll see how that pans out. So that's now gone forever, it's exiled, he can't ever get that back. So let's see what he actually decides to play here. Uh, I'm not really fussed about this. We should have been... Um, I mean, we didn't actually have enough mana, that's why we couldn't. So, for example, if we actually had played a Swamp instead of the other card, we could have actually countered that. I'm not actually fussed about this. I wouldn't counter it anyway, because it's only a 1-1. A uh, it's not very scary. But now, the cool thing is, we get to know... Because we, we've seen all these cards, we get to see his hand for the rest of the... Or, we get to see those cards for the rest of the game, as long as he's holding them, So which is really cool. Uh, it's going to come over to me. Uh, so we hold this card, which is really good, because we're going to be able to use it to counter one of his monsters. Or we could just destroy one of his monsters straight away. But uh, it depends how we want to play it out. And also depends on what actually comes up. So what we could do is we could use this to destroy that if we want to. But we'll do it in his turn, because we'll wait to see what he actually does. But So like I say, really, at the moment, uh, my deck, and his deck in some ways, but he has a few more monsters than what I did. I think there's only four monsters I actually have in my deck. Two of the Scarab God, which is just an OP crazy card, and that's what this deck sort of rolls around. Uh, so he's actually going to attack. So what we'll do is we'll Moment of Craving. Minus is two that. Um, you know, I'm not really... It's not really going to be that useful. Or right, we could actually saved it for his um, Punisher, actually. But, um, yeah. Might, maybe it would be better to save it for that instead of just taking the one damage. But anyway, clears the board. I'm not really too fussed about that. So it could Supreme Will again, but I'm actually going to hold it in my hand at the moment. Uh, so he's going to chuck down his artifact, so whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge on Primal Amulet, then if four or more charges on the counter, you may remove those counters and transform it. So normally you actually get to see. What we could do is we could negate it, but I may save my negate for something like that's a little bit more scary. Uh, I'm not too fussed, but we could just negate it because I'm about to be a bull late. Why not, hey? Uh, we do have other cards to count as things, and I'm not actually too fussed. Uh, this monster, if he does this, uh, it's a bit of a pain, but with my what well, you'll see in a minute when I hopefully I get him, we draw him soon, uh, it's not actually really much of an issue. So we're kind of just waiting for him. He doesn't know what's in my hand. We still know that he's held in the Primal Storm, which is a beast. Uh, we'll probably look to actually copy that. I think that's what we'll do. Um, and we'll take it from there. So we're looking pretty good at the moment. So he's going to do two damage. I don't know... Oh no, he's, uh, I don't know why he actually did that. He was two damage to each. Oh, he did no damage. So he played that, right? So that was a misstep on his behalf. So we could actually play this right now and try and hope that we can try and get my big boy. We do have a counter and a non counter. Uh, I think we're actually going to go for that. We're going to go for this. So this is a little bit of a gamble because this is a nice spell for me to use to uh, stop him doing anything. So we haven't really actually got anything that I was actually hoping for here. These two are not really needed. Uh, we'll take Doomfall so we can get rid of another card. Counter target creature spell is actually pretty nice, but uh, it hasn't panned out too badly because we can use a Doomfall on him. But um, yeah, it's not really what we were kind of after. I was hoping for my Scarab God. There's two in my deck. Uh, they're like a really expensive card. He's about £40 if you buy him in person. So we're going to use Doomfall once again and um, we can see what else is in his hand. And also, again, so he has two Scries. The Scries aren't important. He has another Amulet, so this is actually what it transforms into. 
Uh, to be honest, it wasn't actually as bad as what I thought it was going to be. So, really, we probably... Or I kind of wanted him to play the monster. Um, the monster isn't really an issue. Because we'll just copy it and then we can destroy it. So, I may really get rid of Trial Ambition. I'm not, like I said, I'm not fussed about his Star Extinction. If he wants to play that, he can play that. Um... Well, actually, that's actually pretty annoying. We sacrificed this creature, and I'm actually going to get rid of this. So it's actually a little bit more annoying. Um, the reason I got rid of that is basically he can put a counter on it, and then it exiles my monster, so I can't bring it back. And the whole idea of my deck is that the guy comes back from the graveyard. So he's going to do that. We could negate it, but I'm not really fussed about him drawing a card here. Like, we know what he's up to. We know his whole plan. Uh, he, so he needs six mana, which he's just... Oh, he has six mana now, so... I guess that's what maybe he's actually going towards. He's got a splash. He does have a little splash of blue. So, counter spell. Nice. Um, we're just going to end my turn again. Like I say, I'm really just all about countering whatever he does. And then I get my big boy out. And then it's boom. So, it's not really... I don't know. It's, it's not like... Uh, the deck I'm playing in person at the moment is a white-blue deck. But you can't build it in here because there's missing two sets of cards. Uh, it's missing like two packs. So, um, it's missing some of the cards I need. Where it's just in their face and I can win in like three, four turns. Whilst this this is going to take you sort of 15 to 20 turns to win. Because you're purely just about blocking whatever they do. So, he's... Uh, this is actually really nice. We kind of need this. Uh, but, again, we'll just wait. We'll let him do... So, this is a really cool card. Basically, it returns all non-land permanent. So, all these stay. But, any monsters he has down or artifacts uh, actually just go back to his hand. So, it really slows him down. But, we we just know what he's actually up to here. So, um, so he's going to be playing... So, he's actually going to play something in my turn. Oh, uh, he's just going to cycle that. That's fine. So the thing is, the reason, so we were cycling again, he plays free mana and he can get rid of this card for a new card on the top of his deck. Because he doesn't need anything, because I'm not playing any monsters, so the free damage is a bit wasted, right? So that was a nice play by him. We may actually see him spawn his monster. Oh no, no, it looks like he's going over to me. Or is he? He might be playing something in his end step. So I say there's multiple steps where you can play cards. And what, but the more you sort of maybe watch some videos and play the game, the more you understand it. At, at the moment, it seems really confusing compared to, say, half turn because it's just so much easier. Also on here, you can't actually focus their monsters. Um, I have to choose if I want to block my monsters or not. So we still haven't got my big boy, um, which is a real pain. We have, the, we have the ultimate set of cards right now to stop him doing anything. I think you know, we're in a really good position this game. We know what is in his hand. Um, but it would just be nice to get my Scarab God. There's two of them. So what's he going to play here? So we actually want to negate this because basically what this card does, he flies over and he can see my hand and he can take something away. Considering we have three of these in my hand right now and we have full mana, uh, we'll just basically play this and that just dies. Again, this deck is just counter, 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 counter. You ain't coming at me, bro. So this is actually really cool. So nice card. Uh, so that's... I think it's this, these two, I might have another two, so there's probably about five monsters in my deck. Um, so the idea of this card is that when he summons a monster, in my turn I have to, I can only play monsters in my turn unless they have an ability called Flash. You chuck this down and it destroys that creature and it just completely annihilates them. But this dude doesn't want to play anything. We're going to play Duress. See what's in his hand. So we can get two, rid of two things. Again, we get to see what he's actually running there. So he's picked up a Swamp is what we couldn't see. So what are we going to get rid of? Um... So I'm not really fussed too much. The star, again, I'm not really fussed about the star. We could get rid of it because it's kind of a bit annoying. I, I'm not really properly sure. I haven't seen Trial and Edition before. So it enters the battlefield. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. When it end, uh, let's just get rid of that because I'm not fully sure what it does. The other two doesn't really scare me at all. And yeah, we'll just go back over to him again. So I say blue-black is just literally the simple case of just holding my cards close to my hand and just waiting on Um what I may do is may upload like a green video, uh, an exploration deck. It's not. It's, more, it's like a combo deck. So here we go. So he. So we could right now we could just destroy this and just be like, bro. But what I'm gonna do is in my next turn I'm gonna copy it and then destroy it. So this is actually gonna be our big sort of combo here. Okay. So he summoned his big boy. He's let. He's like, oh my god, why is that gonna go through? Because we could just destroy it. And that would have been. That would have stopped it. He has. He most likely has nothing. Well, we know two of his cards. So. So what we actually want to do is negate this because this is going to be able to keep doing this. So it's a really annoying card. So boom, we get rid of that. And now because we use that, that's the idea of using the mana in his turn. We have all full mana again. Beautiful. So we're going to play this. Basically this comes in. This is the big combo. So we've been waiting for this moment. We copy that. And then I go, uh, I'm going to chuck this dude down. He goes like that. 
boom. So he's been waiting for that, and that's GG. Smashing. So, yeah, that was basically what we've been waiting for, is to do that combo. And anything he decides to do, we just actually have an ultimate combo. Those three cards will deny him doing anything. Even though we only have two mana at the moment. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if this actually goes at speed before his actually goes off. It did. Sweet. So, um, I'm still getting, I've only just recently come built this around the stack. I'm thinking about actually building it in uh, um, RL. So that actually went off before his did. Ideally, what he was going to do was destroy that, and he couldn't, and that's really good. So I can, I'm going to now summon this in my turn, and I can take that card off him. So he now has no cards, and we have complete board control, and we can just go boom, 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 boom. And he now has to exile the top card of his deck. I guess it was a mountain. If it was a monster, I believe I, I get to summon a monster. Whilst mine, I'm most likely never ever going to get a land with mine. So what we'll do, I just want to actually, just to show you how this works. I'm only going to attack with the one, because I want to show you. See, uh, he was at a mountain. Oh, rip. Two lands. <laughs> how was that two lands? That was, that's extremely sucky. So basically, if it was a monster, we get to play it. And it's like, brah. <laughs> Ultimate destruction. So, you know, it's taken a while, you know, but this is the idea of this deck. But unfortunately, I never got to show you my Scarab God. Um, that's the that's the big boy. That's what makes the beef in this deck. But as you saw, just by playing, um, you know, uh, I guess he's not in the graveyard at the moment because he's still out in the field. Yeah. Uh, so what we will do is we'll counter that. So again, like I say, we have an answer to everything. And there we go. GG. And that's the idea of this. Um, the idea of this deck is literally just you just wait it out, play it, boom, boom, boom. So every time you win, you get a prize. Sometimes it's gold, sometimes it's a pack, sometimes it's both. There's generally a quest every day, and at the moment you then get what well, this is uh, weekly wins. Whilst I'm quite far over that at the moment, I believe you get packs every Friday. They give you packs. Um, when you open packs, unfortunately I can't open, actually don't have enough money to open a pack at the moment. But the packs cost a thousand. There's four sets at the moment. There should be six in standard play. There is an RL at the moment. Um, so once you get those, you open them up. And sometimes you get these little cards quid here, which you can craft into other things. And you also build them towards the vault. Um, when you open the vault, you just get like a couple more cards. So if I quickly show you the rundown of my deck, the idea of this is uh, basically towards um, this. Well, you're kind of missing half the slot. But what you want to see is, can you see him? There he is. So I have two of him. I crafted two of him. Unfortunately, I wasn't enough to open him in the pack. But Scarab God is super OP. So each time, uh, basically, you summon him. He's a five, five, five mana for 5-5. Five, five. Pretty good value, really. And at the beginning of each upkeep, each opponent loses X life and you scry X, where X is the number of zombies control. So uh, X, basically if you had two zombies, then it's two. So you get to see the top two cards of your down, uh, deck and he loses two life because you have two zombies. Blah, 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 blah. So you create zombies. This is the cool thing. So basically you pay four mana and you exile a target creature from the graveyard. So say if I had a 5-5 um, five, five flyer in my graveyard, I can bring him back as a 4-4 four, four zombie. But if he has an ability like that ability where I was able to fly and take their card, he can do that. Or my hyena where he has the ability to destroy a creature, that they still get that ability, but they just turn into a 4-4 four, four zombie. And then when he dies, uh, he gets returned to my hand next uh, in the next end step. Boom. Beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys, I, I've explained things, you know, sort of well enough um, for you bosses in this video. And um, yeah, this is like I said, I'm going to be pushing content on my Zion Game Network. Hopefully that's, that's the idea. That's where I'm going to be going with things. So if you guys want to come support me, uh, if you're still interested in some of my content, still interested in me, then come hop, hop over. I may still, I may, I'm looking to start doing some streaming again, which will be on my actual normal Mr. Big Rust Twitch channel. Uh, link, links will be below. So yeah, love to know your boss's thoughts if you're interested in it. Um, but yeah, take it easy and have a great day. Peace.